Between attacks on electric cars, Trump says they're incredible. Since becoming friends with Tesla founder Elon Musk, the former president's views on EVS have changed. Former President Donald J. Trump has long criticized electric cars as inefficient, pricey, and built in China. He has threatened to withdraw federal backing for electric vehicles, a key part of President Biden's climate change agenda. In recent months, Mr. Trump has praised EVS. He still criticizes electric cars, but tells crowds he likes them. He said at a rally in Grand Rapids, Michigan, on Saturday, I'm constantly talking about electric vehicles, but I don't mean I'm against them. I support them. He subsequently said, I've driven them and they are fantastic, but they're not for everybody. After meeting Tesla CEO Elon Musk in Palm Beach, Florida, in March, Mr. Trump softened. Musk said last month at a shareholders meeting that the two men frequently discussed electric vehicles. He simply contacted me out of the blue, Musk remarked. No idea why, but he does. Mr. Trump moved his attacks from electric vehicle reliability and value to federal subsidies for consumers to buy EVS and environmental restrictions to encourage automakers to increase production as spring went to summer. He says anyone can buy an electric car, but the government shouldn't dictate the market. At the Tesla shareholders meeting in June, Mr. Musk said, I can be persuasive, in response to Mr. Trump's apparent reversal. A lot of his buddies now have Teslas, and they all adore it, Musk remarked. And he loves the Cybertruck. Those may be contributing factors. In 2015, the Washington Post reported that Mr. Trump owned a Tesla. President Trump promoted Lordstown Motors' electric pickup truck at the White House, which ultimately went bankrupt. After he lost the 2020 election and President Biden promoted electric vehicles, Mr. Trump attacked them. Trump and Musk did not reply to requests for comment. Both men benefit from their new collaboration. Trump might benefit from Musk's passionate support, one of the world's wealthiest men and a Republican myth. Republicans like Elon, said Mike Murphy, a senior Republican consultant who favors electric automobiles. Elon Musk, I love Elon Musk, Trump told the gathering Saturday. Do we adore him? I love him. Musk worries that eliminating the $7,500 federal tax credit for electric vehicle customers will affect GM, Ford, and other Tesla competitors. The 2022 Inflation Reduction Act offers electric car buyers tax credits of up to $7,500, but some Tesla models don't qualify because they must be free of Chinese-made components. Take away the subsidies, Musk wrote on X this month. It will only help Tesla. Analysts say Tesla, which has a huge production head start and a charging station network, may be more lucrative without subsidies than GM or Ford. Musk resigned from two advisory councils during Mr. Trump's administration over his decision to leave the Paris Climate Pact. After the July 13 assassination attempt on Mr. Trump, Mr. Musk endorsed his White House bid within 30 minutes. At the Saturday event, Mr. Trump claimed, Elon backed me the other day adding that Musk has given $45 million a month to his campaign. Not $45 million, $45 million a month. The Biden administration supports electric vehicles, but Mr. Musk felt slighted in 2021 when Tesla was not invited to a White House meeting on EVS. He was upset when Mr. Biden posted a video on X in January 2022 showing him talking to General Motors chairwoman and CEO Mary Barra. I meant it when I declared the future was going to be produced right here in America, Biden wrote. GM and Ford are developing more electric vehicles here at home than ever before. Musk stewed four months later. This administration has done everything it can to marginalize and ignore Tesla, even though we have made twice as many EVS as rest of U.S. industry combined, Musk wrote. Electric vehicles and the renewable energy transition in America may change after the 2024 election. Trump, who calls climate change a hoax, wants to increase oil and gas production. According to Mr. Biden and Vice President Kamala Harris, climate change is a serious issue and the country should switch to sustainable energy. The Biden administration's policies have led American automakers to invest billions in electric vehicle production which accounted for 6.8% of new vehicle sales in May, according to Edmonds. Chinese automaker BYD, 
highly subsidized by the Chinese government, is competing with American automakers in the worldwide market. Its cheap cars have swamped China and are starting to sell in Europe. Any car CEO will tell you electric vehicles are going to save the automobile sector so the Chinese don't dominate it, Murphy added. However, Trump associates electric vehicle investments with Biden policy, making it inaccurate and debatable. Electric vehicles divide public opinion partisanly. In a June Pew Research Center survey, 77% of Republicans indicated they would not buy an electric car for their next car and 13% were very interested in one. That contrasts with 45% of Democrats who indicated they would be very interested in an electric car. Trump is tapping into what Republicans actually feel, said Republican political expert Wood Ayers. They're significantly less likely to acquire an electric vehicle and dislike the idea that the government will compensate Democrats who desire one. Image